Hello. Today, I will cover a summary about exponents and logarithm in this lecture. I made this video for someone who needs to review these chapters but do not know where to start, or who wants to preview this quickly. Let's start with the exponents first. When a number a is multiplied n times, it can be simply written like the left side, and it reads as a to the nth power or a to the power of n. A is called base and n is called exponent. There are various features of exponents you must know. Number 1, a to the n power times a to the n power equals a to the n plus n power. Because if you multiply n multiples of a and n multiples of a, then it is n plus n multiples of a. Number 2, a to the n power to the n power equals to a to the mn power. As you multiply n number of m a multiples, you get n times m number of a multiples. Number 3. a b to the m power equals to a to the m power times b to the m power. A form of m multiples of a b's is equal to m multiples of a's times m multiples of b's. Number 4. a to the m power divided by a to the n power is equal to a to the m minus n power. From m multiples of a's, you erase n a's, then only m minus n multiples of a are remained. Number 5. a to the 0 power is equal to 1. Let me use the first property by changing n to 0. Then a to the n power times a to the 0 power equals to a to the n plus 0 power, and it is a to the n power only. Then since a to the n power times a to the 0 power equals to a to the n power, a to the 0 power must be 1. Number 6. a to the negative n power is equal to 1 over a to the n power. Let me use the first property again and change n to negative m. a to the n power times a to the negative n power equals to a to the n plus negative m powers. And it becomes to a to the 0 power, which is 1. So a to the negative m must be 1 over a to the m. Let's solve a related example. In this problem, let me break up the parentheses first. You can just apply the squared power at outside into both numerator and denominator separately. Then by using the second property on the left side, we get b to the 2 times 2 power over a to the 1 times 2 power, which is b to the 4 over a to the 2. And then using the first property, solve a's and b's separately. Then we get the answer as below. The next chapter is logarithm. Suppose that a is positive except 1. When a to the x power equals to b, x can be defined as the form at the right side. This usually reads as log base a of b. a is called a base and b is called an argument. Let's look at some examples to be familiar with log. Log base 2 of 8 is 3, since 2 to the cube is 8. Log base 5 of 25 is 2, since 5 square is 25. Log base 3 of 1 is 0, since 3 to the 0 power is 1. Log base 4 of 1 over 16 is negative 2, since 4 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 16. Suppose that a, b, c, d, m, and n are positive real numbers where a and c are not equal to 1. Then the properties of the log are following. Number 1. Log base a of 1 is always 0, because any non-zero number to the 0 power is 1. And log base a of a is always 1, because any number to the power of 1 is itself. Number 2. Log base a of b plus log base a of c is equal to log base a of bc. It can be proved using the property number 1 of the exponent chapter in this video. Number 3. Log base a of b minus log base a of c is equal to log base a of b over c. Number 4. Log base a of c times log base c of d is equal to log base a of d. Number 5. Log base a of b can be translated to log base c of b divided by log base c of a. Number 6. If there is exponents on both base and arguments, these exponents can be taken out of log like this form but make sure that n must be multiplied and m divided. Number 7. 
log base A of C is equal to 1 over log base C of A. Number 8. A is equal to C to the power of log base C of A. Number 9. A to the x power is equal to C to the x times log C of A power. Number 10. A to the power of log base C of B is equal to B to the power of log base C of A. Now let's solve the log problems. Log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of 4 equals to log base 2 of 8 times 4 by the first property. And it's log base 2 of 32. And it's also log base 2 of 2 to the 5 power. And then 5 is taken out. Then it becomes 5 times log base 2 of 2. And then it's 5. 2 to the log base 2 of 7 power is equal to 7 to the log base 2 of 2 power. So it is 7. A common log is a log which base is 10. In case of the common log, we do not read or write the base. So if you solve a log form which base is missing, just regard that there is a base 10. There is a number e in the mathematics. The definition of e is the following. When x goes to infinity, the approaching value of 1 plus 1 over x to the x power. It is an irrational number approximately 2.718. When this number is on the base of the log, we denote ln instead of log. So log base e of b is ln b. The last thing I want to cover are the functions of exponent and log. An exponential function is a function having an equation of exponent form, where the domain is the exponent. The base a must be positive. If a is greater than 1, then function is increasing. If a is smaller than 1, then function is decreasing. A log function is a function having an equation of log form, where the domain is the argument. The base a must be positive and not equal to 1. If a is greater than 1, then function is increasing. If a is smaller than 1, then function is decreasing. Let's compare the exponential and log functions. Before we start, suppose that a is positive and not equal to 1. If both functions have the same base a, then these two functions are symmetric by y equals x. That is, these two functions are inverse against each other. The graphs on the right side are an example which a is equal to 2. The domain of this exponential function y equals a to the x is set of all real numbers. The range is set of all positive numbers. There is one asymptote which is y equals 0. The domain of this log function y equals log base a of x is set of all positive numbers. The range is set of all real numbers. There is one asymptote, which is x equals 0. Let's see how the exponential and log functions change when a changes. In case of the exponential functions, a to the x power goes up where x is positive as a increases, but it goes down where x is negative. In case of the log functions, log base of a of x goes down where x is positive as a increases, but it goes up where x is less than 1. Now let's check these inequalities on the left side. When all the exponents are same and positive, the exponential numbers of the larger base is the greater number. But if the exponents are same and negative, the smaller base is the greater number. Meanwhile, when all the arguments are same and greater than 1, the log numbers of smaller base is the greater number. But if the arguments are the same and less than 1, the greater base is the greater number. How was this video? Please hit like if you liked my video today. And subscribe if you want to study math with my videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.